All right. Let's see the next question. The value in six years of 75,000 invested today at a stated annual interest rate of 7% compounded quarterly is closest to. Stated word pay, don't get irritated. I've seen students getting a little stated method, the way the rate is quoted, quoted rate, stated rate, the rate, whoever is publishing, be it the bank, financial institution, the way they are posting the rate, quoting the rate. So that is equal to, and it's given 7% compounded quarterly. They don't have to mention 7% per annum compounded quarterly. The rates are always given on a per annum basis until unless mentioned otherwise. So 7% per annum quarterly compounding rate is there. So how many years later? The value in six years. It's a very simple question. So zero, seven years. You're investing how much? 75,000, no? Huh? Yeah. $75,000. So what is the value over here? See, how I am going to do is one point... Kitna is 7%, no? Seven. Huh. So 1.0175. Seven. Seven. 1 plus 0 0.075 by 4. This is how much? 1.0175. Uh, 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 1.0175. That is correct. 1.0175, 7 years is going to be how much? 28 quarters? Six, 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 six years? Six, oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. The six years. So 24 quarters. So this is going to be 24 into 75,000 is your answer. Or if you want PV N, sorry, 1.75, not 0 0.0175, I by Y, PMT is nothing and you compute. You can do it this way as well. You can do it this way as well. This is a very easy question. I hope we can move forward. Next, a bank quotes a stated annual interest rate of 4%. If the rate is equal to an effective annual rate of 4.08, then the bank is compounding interest. It's a very simple question. Stated quoted rate is, stated annual rate is 4%. So basically what the question is telling you is, my rate is 4% per annum compounded dash we don't know but what the question has also told you is my EAY my effective annual yield is 4.08 percent that means 1 plus R I can write it this way one compounded at a stated quoted rate of R, compounding frequency being M, is equal to 1.0408 or 1 plus 0 0.04 by M, whole to the power M is equal to 1.0408. Yeah, minus 1. The minus 1 is equal to 4.08%. I've directly done it this way. Now, the question is how do you solve this equation? Even if I take a power 1 by M over there, then a minus 1 and then into m etc it becomes a little complicated equation to solve it's a very simple question all you have to do is there are three options you evaluate this formula which each of the three options and check which one is going to give you 1.0408 so the compounding frequency is given over here are daily quarterly semi-annually daily quarterly semi-annually so now if i were to use the calculator I want to start with the semi-annual easy pele. So if I'm doing the question as a student, what I'm going to do is 1.02 square. That is 1.0404. Not the answer. Because of the compounding frequency semi-annually, in that case, if I compound semi-annually, my effective rate is going to be 4.04%. Are you understanding this? So this is not going to work. Second is quarterly. This also becomes very easy. 1.01 .01 to the power 4. Sorry, 1.01 .01 to the power Huh? 1.01 to the power 4 karega to. That is 1.0406, so 4.06 percent. Obviously, I have to increase my compounding frequency in order to get to a 4.04 was with semi-annual. With uh, quarterly, it is 4.06. I need 4.08. Obviously, the answer is daily because there are only three options. Right? I can still, if you want, you can still try it on the calculator. 0 0.04 divided by 365 plus 1 to the power 365 
the answer is 4.0808%. 4.08%. 4.08%. Or 0.81%, whatever. Tell me. So there could be cases where the equation is not solvable. Do not get scared. There could be other kind of questions also wherein you'll have to apply the options in the question and see which one is working, which one is not. There could be such questions, not just with respect to quants, but other subjects as well, where you might need to feed in the data of the option and check which option is working or satisfying that condition. Comfortable, easy. So when you put down those tricks and all, you write down that, you know, uh, in the tricks part, you'll I've, I've explained how to study and how to practice and all of that in your uh, in that exam entering uh, lectures of yours. So I've mentioned that you know there could be so you write down these tricks so that before the exam day you go through all these pointers before taking the exam that okay I need to there is a possibility I mean I might need to put in the options in the question and then check the check which one is working. Got it? Comfortable? Next, I hope I'm not going fast. I'm assuming you practice kar ke aayo. Next one, Give a, given a 1 million investment for 4 years with a stated annual rate of 3% compounded continuously. Achha, I'm going to skip this question for now because I've not done continuous rate yet. We'll get back to it later. Okay? I wanted to do, well, there could be certain topics where I've done a little bit upar niche. You know, I've done something a little later, something a little earlier because it is related to some other topics. So I want to do log normal and continuous rates together. So it will be done later. Okay? We'll skip this. Huh. Let's see. Uh, next question. A couple plans to set aside 20,000 per year in a conservative portfolio projected to earn 7% a year. Per year. Okay. So it's an annuity question. It's per year, no? Annuity question. If they make their first savings contribution one year from now. Annuity, do you want uh, annu normal annuity, ordinary annuity? Ordinary. ordinary annuity because it's going to be making the first cash by the end of the year. How much will they have at the end of 20 years? This is very, very, very easy. And the rate of compounding is 7% a year. It's very easy. PMT 20,000. I by Y. 7, right? N is 20. Compute. FV, correct? That's it. There is no PV. So say for example, hypothetically, the question mentions that they have already a 5,000 savings today or a 50,000 savings today. In that case, you will put PV as 50,000. The PV and PMT will be of the same sign or opposite sign in that case? Same sign because PV also I'm investing and PMT also I'm investing for 20 years. FV will be of the opposite sign. Okay, now I'll ask you a simple modification of this question. Let's see if you can answer. What if the question tells you 7% quarterly compounding rate? Then how do you do this question? Mind you, the annuity is still annual. So you are going to make $20,000 annual contribution for next 20 years. But the rate that the government or the bank is providing is 7% quarterly compounding rate. What do you do? How do you do this question? Tell me quickly. Absolutely. So, see, first of all, you cannot, you cannot make this 7 as 7 by 4 and you cannot make this as 80. This is wrong. Why is this wrong? Because 20,000 is not getting deposited 80 times. So, when I take n equal to 80 with 4, four quarters per year and 20 years, 80 quarters, you are not getting this 20,000 invested for every quarter. The 20,000 is getting invested per annum. So, if I have an annuity question, See, if I have a PV and FV, then I can do N equal to 80 times and all of that. That is okay. But in an annuity question, the period has to be the interval at which the cash flow is happening. You can't change that to 80. I am not paying 20,000 80 times. I am not investing 20,000 80 times. You cannot do that. Tell me clear, everyone. So what do I do? I need to simply, my quarterly rate is going to be, so this 20 cannot be shifted. This is This has to be exactly this, correct? Now, n is equal to the period and i by y is the rate per period. So, since I have been given 1.75, since I have been given 1.75 per quarter, I need to get 1.75 or whatever, sorry, I need to get whatever rate per annum basis. So, i by y has to be, this has to be converted 1.0175 to the power 4 minus 1. I will convert it into EAY, this has to be made into EAY. 
I by Y is the rate per period. My period has to be an annual period because the contributions are made annually. The contributions are made annually. So I'll have to convert I by Y into the EAY. 1.0175 to the power 4 minus 1 is how much? 0 0.07185 that means 7 point instead of 7 it will become 7.1859 this is what I'll have to enter and then I can do this question so the question is going to tell me 7% quarterly compounding rate all I have to do is I by Y has to be converted to EAY and I'm through and I can do this question exactly as it is tell me got it there is no other way to do this comfortable everyone understood so understand, think of the kind of variations that's possible with the question. Next one. Two years from now, a client will receive the first of three annual payments of 20,000 from a small business project. The moment I start reading these kind of questions, I like to draw my timeline. Two years from now is time to, I'm going to start receiving from two years, I will receive the first of the three annual payments of 20, 20, 20, 20. So I've got a three, I've got a four. All right, I'm receiving these three payments. If she can earn 9% annually on her investments and plans to retire in six years, how much will the three business project payments be worth at the time of her retirement? She's retiring in six years. So FV on this date, correct? You know, I'm, and this is nine. I don't need to bother about this and this. All I have to do is PMT 20, I by Y is nine, N is equal to three, compute FV. When will this FV be calculated? At this time, I need to take this value at time six. It is six years from now, but I don't care. The ending annuity is going to give me the FV as on this date, right? It doesn't matter whether I start from time zero or time one. I'm not calculating PV. Now, had I calculated PV, my answer would be here. Then I had to discount it over here, but I'm not calculating PV over here. So I don't need that. So all I need to do is to take the cash flows over there is 1.09 square. That is the answer. You will very often find solutions and all in books and all or uh, wherever given that you take this as PV now, then 9 as I by Y, then again compute FV N equal to 2. Hey, PV FV, there is a single cash flow I have to take anywhere now. I don't like using this PV FV format. It is a big time waste. If I have to take a single cash flow from here to here, here to here, here to here, I'm not going to be using N, I by Y, PV, PMT, FV again. It's a waste of time. I can simply compound and discount. For annuity, of course, I'm going to be using the TVM functions. Tell me, comfortable? So this is going to give you your answer. Calculate. Hmm, bolo. Seven seven eight nine four point two one. Point two one two one. Eight nine four. Point two one. Is that the answer? Book ka answer bhai. Yeah. In case you decide to use a BGN mode, this is with ending mode. In case you decide to use with a BGN mode, all that you have to make a, all that you have to do is compute FV into 1.09. Because if I'm using the beginning mode, my FV gets calculated at time five. It's gonna four or five case up some Don't look at it like four or five and all that. When you're looking at these kind of questions. When you're looking at the time back timeline and all, you see it from the relative point of cash flow. That if this is my annuity stream, PV gets calculated here, FV gets calculated here in ending value, uh, in ending mode. In beginning mode, my PV gets calculated here and FV gets calculated here. This is the time period. This can be absolutely, it could be quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, then the rate has to be per quarter rate. Even if I'm given 7% per annum compounded annually, let's say. And this is quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, hypothetically. Then what do I do? 1.07 to the power one fourth minus one. That is going to be your I by Y. You can always, if you can convert a quarterly rate to an annual rate, you can also convert an annual rate to a quarterly rate, right? 
क्योंकि वन बिकम वन पॉइंट जीरो सेवन इन वन ईयर सो हाउ मच डज इट बिकम इन वन क्वार्टर वन फोर्थ बिकॉज आई गेव यू एन एनुअल रेट आई वॉन्ट द क्वार्टरली रेट वन प्लस पॉइंट जीरो सेवन बाई फोर बिकॉज द रेट इज नॉट कंपाउंडेड एनुअली ना द बैंक इज गिविंग यू सेवन परसेंट कंपाउंडेड एनुअली सो वॉट विल यू गेट इन वन क्वार्टर वन प्लस पॉइंट जीरो सेवन बाई फोर यू विल गेट इफ द बैंक कंपाउंड द रेट एट क्वार्टरली वैन सेवन परसेंट इज कंपाउंडेड क्वार्टरली देन यू विल गेट वन प्लस पॉइंट जीरो सेवन बाई फोर इन वन इन वन क्वार्टर इन थ्री मंथ्स बट द बैंक इज गोइंग टू गिव यू एनुअल रेट दैट मीन्स वन बिकम्स वन पॉइंट जीरो सेवन इन वन ईयर सो इन वन क्वार्टर विल बिकम वन पॉइंट जीरो सेवन टू बाई वन फोर्थ so if the bank compounds this amount every quarter it will become 1.07 now yeah. that is what the bank stated i told you if the bank is telling you 7% is the annual rate yeah i understood and if this is a quarter but in one question before sir you told wo baad mein pooch okay. you show me that question then got this you might have a little confusion in the beginning and you show me that question separately not a problem next one A saver deposits the following amounts in an account, paying a stated annual rate of four percent compounded semi-annually. Okay, this is that kind of question only. At the end of year four, the uh, uh, value of the account is closes to. So you've got an end of the year deposit, and you got four percent semi-annual, four eight seven ten. Four percent semi-annual is your rate. Obviously, over here, annuity function will not work. It's equal intervals but unequal cash flows. So, therefore, what do I do? C zero one, C zero two, C zero three, C zero four. I'll have to go to my calculator. Second CF, second CC. That is clear work in your cash flows. You erase all the data that is there. CF zero will be zero only. Obviously, cash flow at time zero is zero. You just scroll down. C zero one, two, three, four. You enter these things. I'm assuming you have practiced. You've completed TVM properly with me, and you have done the calculator lecture for the same. So you have, and you will be able to match up with the speed once you start using the calculator more frequently. So it will be normal. Don't worry. You will come, you will come at par with my speed on using the calculator very soon. It's just a matter of time and practice. So we'll enter the C zero one two three four now. When you press the NPV button, I is equal to I. You cannot enter as four. You can't even enter as two because your cash flows are on a per annum basis. So I has to be the rate per period, and your period is one year. So your I is going to be one point zero two square minus one. Obviously, it will not be point zero four zero four. It will be four point zero four. I think it's four point zero four. Now we calculated in one of the previous questions. Abhi, you don't enter in decimal form. You enter as it is. Tell me, comfortable? 